am Katherine Miller. I'm here in the Elmwood Village today as we launch our new series, Discover, which highlights all of the great neighborhoods in the Western New York area. You won't want to miss a minute of the amazing people, places, and businesses right here in your own hometown on WBBZ, your locally owned station. here with Therese at one of my favorite shops ever, Thin Ice on Elmwood Avenue, and I love coming into your place. I can't tell you how many times I've needed a last minute gift, mm -hmm. and I know I can find something in here for whoever I'm looking for, be it mm -hmm. a man or a woman, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, that's our goal. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your shop, why, how you got started. Um, I opened in 2006, so 13 years ago, and um, I always say that I still love coming to work every day, which I think is pretty significant. And there was just uh, quite a few stores closing at the same time, and none of them had a focus on local artists, and so I wanted to work with the community. I wanted to bring together the local artists and the community and, you know, bridge this gap. And the response was amazing. I mean, I have so many regular customers that just walk up from the neighboring Elma Village, and they just want to support the local artists as much as I do. That's great. And your passion for it shows because I come in here and there's so many unique items that you can't get anywhere mm -hmm. else, right? Yeah. I mean, that's one of my favorite things. So many times I have artists and they've never sold in a store before. They literally are like, I made this in my living room and I give it to my family. Do you think that you want to sell it? And I'm like, I would be honored to sell it. This is amazing. And so that's, that's my beautiful. favorite part is building the artists up to, so that they know their worth and then selling the items for them. And they build up their repertoire and sending them off into the world, go to Etsy, go do shows, like follow your passion. And I love it. I love that. And we also, my niece and I come in, you have this line of facial mm -hmm. care and mm -hmm. makeup that's all natural, yep. which I love. I use all the time. It's by someone local, the Buffalo Gale Yeah, Yeah, Buffalo Gale Organics. I haven't seen that anywhere else. Yeah. yeah, she started, she's actually a chemist and she makes vegan and organic skincare and she's the first one around that I came across and I use all of her products. They're absolutely amazing. But it's actually started a bit of a trend where there are more companies that are selling vegan and organic and all natural skincare and I love it. I think it's so important and I feel like her background as a chemist really set the tone for that and the importance of it. Okay. And so we, I've expanded the line a bit here to be soaps and lotions and things like that but she has the most, she is the only one with all of the right. face washes, creams, serums, everything we have. It's all vegan and organic and just, and she's just lovely to work with. Oh, that's beautiful. Now you have the most gorgeous jewelry. Mm, I do. I love. Yes. And you have the skincare line, you have clothing. Yep. We've got pottery. We do a lot of wedding gifts. Right. I always say pottery is a great wedding gift, so we do a lot of that. We do have some wall art. We've got glass, hand blown and fused glass. We've got Roycroft artisans who make that. We try to have something for everybody. So we've got jewelry, pottery, glass, metal, fiber, wood, creation. So be it coasters, be it candles, be it body products, especially jewelry. We, we try to be the last minute place for everything you need. And you are. Thanks. And one of my favorite things, my niece and I, when we take our walk every day down Elmwood Avenue in the village here, um, she has to come in and pet the cat. Oh yes, yeah. We have two <laughs> yep. additional. We have two store cats. Here. Yep, yeah. Store Indenture cats. servants. Um, there's Atticus <laughs> who's been here since the beginning, and then right. Lyra who got the name Marshmallow because she's she's a little fluffy, a little she on the fluffy so side. Soft. Yes. And truly, more people know their names than my name, and that's how it should be. They are so spoiled, and they're they're really great. But definitely, please, everybody come in and visit them. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Sure. For everything. Thank you. Really appreciate. Yep, it. my pleasure. I am here today at my favorite eyeglass shop, Visualize. And you guys, this, Dan is also my old neighbor. I'm not old, but I was a neighbor. No, a neighbor a while ago. Just want to clarify that. But you have an amazing shop. Tell me a little bit about what makes you unique. Well, thank you, um, first of all, for letting us get involved in this. Um, our two stores, both Visualize offices, specialize in bringing product to Buffalo that people are not going to find anywhere else in this Western New York area. Um, we travel to find these lines. These are the industries, in most cases, highly sought after products. So these are the frames you'd expect to see when you travel, when you're in New York and Toronto and Chicago and LA, Paris. Uh, we travel to Paris for an international show every few years and we go to the trade shows to find these products 
because we don't want to buy the frames that the salesmen are offering in Buffalo because if they leave here, they go down the street to the next store. And they even have glasses. What is this, vinylized? The frame is made from the vinyl of records and the instructions from the guitar pick material. So you can even strum your guitar while you're wearing your cool new shades. We want our customers to have product to pick from that they're not gonna see up and down the street. You don't want to see anyone else in this beautiful jacket when you walk into a party. <laughs> right? true, so you shouldn't true. be looking at the same eyewear right. on everyone. So, And you guys are passionate about it. Yeah, we are. We all take this very seriously. We chose to do this for a living. Right. and Oh, you um, walk in and they sit you down. You will help somebody to determine what the best frame is for the shape of their face, the whole, the style. Like for me, I need something durable. You have like this line of glasses that you carry. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's frames that look delicate that, that are not, right. you know, that are very That's forgiving, true. but they don't have to be, they don't have to be right. mechanical looking. But yeah, we, we take our time with every customer. It isn't I'll go pick out a pair of glasses and sit down and we'll, we'll put the lenses in them. It, it should be a very individual thing. So and you take some time, talk to somebody, and you find out what they're interested in and what, they, what they're looking for. And you carry a lot of unique brands, too. The brands, for the most part, about 98% of the brands that we carry in both of our stores, we're the only ones in the area yeah. that carry these lines. You'd have to go to New York or at, at least Toronto to find many of them. So, yeah, these are the... These are the real thing. These are manufacturers that are just not sticking a brand name on a frame. This is, this is all these people do. They design, manufacture, and distribute just this one line of eyewear. So as passionate as they are about it, we kind of get you know, involved in that whole process. So it, it, it's, it's exciting. Now, for the holidays, it's really hard to pick out eyeglasses, but a lot of people want gift they, certificates. They, right? they tell everybody on their, on their buying list, run into Visualize, get me a gift card, you know, whether it be for 20, 50, 100, whatever, right. and those gift cards add up, and then those people can come in and they can treat themselves to something that's truly unique and special that they'll have for a while. Yeah, it's, it's, a, great, it's a great holiday gift. Thank you. Thanks so much, My Dan. Pleasure. I appreciate it. Glad you came in. Me too. I'm here at the Relief Center, CBD Center, on Elmwood Avenue with John. You own this shop. Yes, I do. We've been open since Labor Day. Wonderful. I love CBD. I love anything natural, herbal, you know, medicines that can help to heal the body and naturally. And that's what CBD does? Yeah, so CBD is the non-psychoactive component that is found either in the cannabis or the hemp plant. Now, in states like New York, where it's not legal rec recreationally, CBD is derived from the hemp plant. Um, it's one of the two main cannabinoids that are found uh, during research. Now, CBD has been shown to help people with all, a whole myriad of different things. Right. People have used it for inflammation, pain, anxiety, sleep, and you know a whole bunch of other disorders. So we're really trying to help offer an alternative and holistic method for people um, you know, every day and brand that they can trust. That's great. And it doesn't get you high. So anybody yeah. out there, I'm sorry, it just doesn't do that. Right? Yeah, it, yeah, it's not going to get you high, <laughs> but it will help you with other things. That's wonderful. That's great to know. Yeah, because the levels are so low that it's not even... Yeah, so with a full spectrum product, like some of the things we carry, you can have up to a 0.3% THC level. So that's not going to get you high, but it, what it does is it induces something called an entourage effect. So CBD and THC work better together. It helps hit those other CBD receptors that you have throughout your body. Right. Yeah, which we naturally have, too. And now you have your shop here. I notice, you know, walking by every day with my niece, we take mm -hmm. a daily walk. I see people walking in and out for the free samples. Mm -hmm. How does that work usually? People try it and they... Yeah, absolutely. So we have so many customers that they hear CBD, they see CBD. Mm -hmm. It's all over the news, it's all over the radio. The gas stations. It's everywhere. <laughs> so a lot of people, yeah. there's, you know, they don't know a lot about it. They've heard it everywhere. So when they see the free samples, they come on in, they speak to our staff. Now everyone in our store is really highly knowledgeable and trained and 
brushed up on the subject. So we have, you know, several different samples we can offer people. We have samples of our tinctures, which are the dropper bottles. You can take them, ingest them, or sublingually under your tongue. We have other lotions and bombs, like a really nice lavender hand lotion or a healing bomb. Yeah, for, you know, different nerves and joint pain, where you know, you get that kink in your neck or the, you know, back pain. Right. Um, so people come in all the time, they try it out, they see what the hype is about, and they get the information that, you know, a lot of people are lacking. Because in the market right now, it's, it's very it's getting saturated and there's a lot of misinformation going around you know so and there's a lot of products that aren't necessarily good right because they don't have good source materials and absolutely not processed well absolutely so it's yeah. all really dependent on right. you know knowing where your CBD and your products are sourced from you want to make sure it's a reputable brand from a reputable company and making sure that it's labeled properly now it's not FDA regulated so that's why we keep all of our lab results and our tests in the store for the customer on hand. So when you come into the CBD Relief Center, you can trust in the brands that you're trying, the brands that you're buying, and know what you're taking is, is what it says it is. Now you have gift packages too for the holidays. We do, right? for the holidays. So if you're looking for something for mom, for dad, for cousin, brother, sister, we're gonna have a number of customizable gift packages that we are putting together that include you know either samplers or different things for you know topical use if you're not into the whole ingestible or oils we have teas and coffee packages we're putting together you know right in time for the holidays and you're going to be able to save some money if we doing so beautiful one quick question just to wrap things yeah. up yeah what is your passion for this why did you start this store you know i've always had a passion for helping people and making a difference so what this allows me to do is really take the entrepreneurial spirit which i've always had and then in a holistic fashion be able to help people and help bring an alternative healing method into light and making sure people know what they're having and the difference we're able to make in people's lives is unbelievable when i tell you these people come back in and they're skeptical before and they come back in raving and saying oh my gosh i can't believe that this has allowed me to do can't believe this that you know where it's got me back to i you know, I can live my life again. It truly makes it worth it. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, for thanks sharing. for coming in. Really appreciate it. I'm here today with Alice Ioano, and this is your amazing place. I love hanging out at the Globe Market on Elmwood Avenue because oh, it always thank you. feels so warm and embracing when I walk in, and the food is amazing, consistently. Consistently. Consistently because we have basically the same staff. We have the same people that have been here for years. We don't have a high turnover in our staff, which I think helps a lot when something needs to be consistent. Now for anybody in the restaurant industry, that says a lot. If you have the same staff for years, you are a great employer. And it's your heart. We're nice people. <laughs> you can tell just by looking at the place. All of yeah. the Christmas decorations you have out, every time I come in, there's just something new to look at. And it's so warm. Thank you. Crazy. Thank you. And there's all kinds of little nooks and crannies you have created all over the restaurant. People like sitting in little nooks and crannies. We find that that seat, and there's another little setup that we have on the other side. Always take it with it. Little, small, little nook. Now, if you could say something about your place that defines it from any other restaurant near you, what would it be? I think we're, we're consistent in our cooking. We, you know, when I use the term, we don't use uh, open the can. Obviously, we do have some cans, but it's not to produce. We don't just take a bag of frozen soup and put it out. Everything is from scratch. Our baker comes in at 4 o'clock in the morning to start the bake, baking. Everything is made here. Our salsa is made here. We don't open up a jar and hand out salsa. Right. Everything is made here, and that is a huge difference. And the prices are great. I can Prices come and have are good. A lunch here, and it isn't costing me a fortune. No. Like I say, I know it's going to be consistently great food. It is. Yeah. It is. What is your passion for this? Tell me a little bit about that. You must love it. You've been here I, 15 years. I like, I like the restaurant business. I, I like, I just like the whole ball of it. I, I like everything changing around, you know, as far as the menus and some staying, things staying consistently the same. But I just, I just like it. I like the customers, I, I like it. And the staff that I have, it's just really nice to come into work 
nobody is fighting just get along great, which is a wonderful thing. Yeah, wonderful thing. So yeah. yeah. And it shows up in the food. Yes. Like water for chocolate. You know, what you put in to the product, everybody tastes it. Yes. When you walk through the door. Yeah. I hope so. Thank I you. hope so. <laughs> I do. I love Good. it here. This is Good. such a great place. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. One of the things about the Elmwood Village is that the community really supports this wonderful environment here for the businesses being full and supported and the community having a lot of events going on, keeping this an active, hip, vibrant community. Therese from Thin Ice, who we met earlier, is the head of the Elmwood Village Association and I want to talk with her about an event that they're doing to raise funds for cancer research. I am the president of the board of the Elmwood Village Association and I am also one of the founding members of the Elmwood Strip Merchant Group, which is who put on the event this evening. And what is the event? Tell me a little bit about it. This event is the Elmwood Strip Celebration of Hope and it's where the merchants of Elmwood came together to raise funds and awareness for pediatric cancer research and this is our way of giving back to the community. So we're saying thank you for shopping on Elmwood. We know that you can shop anywhere but we want you to know that we appreciate you and your money goes further when you shop on Elmwood and so this is our celebration of hope and it's our way of saying thank you and to give the gift of hope this holiday season. And that's one of the benefits too of shopping local is the local merchants support their local community and I love that. That's what we're trying to do at the station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. The businesses on Elmwood, they're all individually owned. They're mom and pop shops. We put our blood, sweat, and tears into it. We love what we do. This holiday season coming up is super exciting. We, we love our regulars. We offer free gift wrapping. Customer service is our goal for everything. And this is just our way of showing our gratitude to the community for, to, for supporting us throughout the years. Hi, I'm here at Campus Wheelworks with Ethan, one of the awesome owners of this place. I love your bike shop. It's so cool. And you have the most amazing bikes here, but you also do more than bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Buffalo has uh, several seasons, so we like to find ways to enjoy all of them. That's great. And you have gear for cross-country skiing. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we... We sell, rent, and service cross-country skis, uh, snowshoes, and we have winter bikes, fat bikes that we also rent, and we do group rides with this stuff too. That's wonderful, and I see you have hats and gloves and everything, so yeah, this we, is not just a summer place. Yeah, we have uh, hats, gloves, you know, things that everybody in Buffalo needs mm -hmm. through the winter. Being here on Elmwood Avenue, people right. walk by, they've got cold hands, oh, cold heads, yeah. can come on in, we'll set them up. Ah, uh, yes. Now, how did you get started in all of this? What was the history? Yeah, so my history and the shop's history uh, as, as a bike shop both start in 96. Nice. I worked at a few shops before working here, but this shop's been here since 1996. And there's been a bike shop in this location since the early 70s. Wow, that's great. Now, you have a national bike shop day. Tell me about that. It's yeah. December 7th. Yeah, our next big event yeah. is on December 7th, and that is uh, Bike Shop Day. So we're basically going to be having an open house, and uh, come in, we'll have a group ride, we're going to have other events going on, a bunch of food and drinks, and just to kind of celebrate what we and every other bike shop do, and how we are involved with our community, and how we can get people to enjoy Buffalo. You've got a really cool game going on for the winter too. Tell yeah, me about totally. that. That's fun. Yeah, so at Bike Shop Day we'll also be uh, launching the Great Winter Get Out, right. which is an entirely winter long scavenger hunt that we drive through an app and anybody can play. It's free. I love scavenger hunts. This is yeah. going to be fun. It's yeah. super cool and uh, it ties in all sorts of the things that we do and involves encouraging people to get outside and make the most of winter instead of, you know, hiding from it. That's great. <laughs> and in Buffalo, people ride their bikes all winter long yes. a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. Not everyone, not wimps. You know. <laughs> now, I want to have your partner, Alex, show us one more thing that you have for the winter time here. Awesome. Right. Hi, I'm with the other awesome owner of Canvas Wheelworks here on Elmwood Avenue. And you have the coolest device. Now, this is great for winter time for anybody. Yeah, it is. Can you explain uh, this? Well, the cold buffalo winters don't always build excitement in people to ride outside. True. So, 
for that solution, we have a bunch of different options of ways to ride your own bike inside. Uh, and some of them even hook up to a computer. It's called virtual training. Uh, this can be really fun because it's more engaging and allows you to ride longer and have more enjoyable wow. times while you're doing it. You can it. live right here in this virtual world. That's exactly. Great. Now you're opening up a shop on Niagara as well. We are. It's yeah, 1330 Niagara and we should be open this spring. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Alex. Yeah. Love the shop. Sue, I love your shop. This is such a great place. Tell me a little bit about your passion for how you got started in all this. Well, we've been in business about 18 years, right. and I put myself as the shopper. I couldn't find things I liked in Buffalo, and so I wanted to bring something here that I saw in my travels that wasn't already available in Buffalo. Right. And that's one of the things I love about your store. My niece and I come in here all the time. There are so many unique shoes that I don't see anywhere else in town. Well, that's sort that. of what we aim for. Um, the internet was a little bit of a game changer because people have more readily available items, but we really try to provide people even further uh, choices of things that you just, smaller brands, things that you just don't see float by your desktop. Really things that, um, each thing is like its own little compliment. Right. And I, I don't like the internet for shoes at all. A lot of people say that. Because you can't try them on. And, and not only just the size, if the sizing's right, but the width, and you can't see yep. how the shoe A lot really of people come in here much. and are so glad they came yeah. into the store versus, you know, yeah. just to touch everything. And, and you have great prices, too. Yes. I was looking of at your like, yes. wow, we, you are really competitive. Yes, we are. Yeah. And also, what, what else do you think? separates your store from the rest of the... I think the fact w when you come in here it's different than a big shoe department you're able to talk with our associates that are very knowledgeable about brands and fits and style a lot of people will bring their dresses in if they're going to an event or trying to match a pair of jeans and the way a leg fits on a boot and and it's really great because you can come in you can talk to pe actual people you can you know try in your outfit you can walk next door get, you know get an outfit put it all together and it's not even half as hard as walking into a big store waiting for someone in a shoe department to finally help you and not really give you advice that we would give you here. Right. What else do you carry other than shoes? I well, we always say that we're shoes and accessories, men's and women's shoes and accessories. We carry a lot of like, you know, socks, handbags, jewelry, gifts, some things that, you know, kind of all go together. I never wanted to have a disconnect between you know, what we offered, but everything really is unique, everything is different, everything is, you know, something special for someone. Yeah, what brands do you have, for instance? Well, we carry a lots of smaller brands, but we do also carry brands like Sorel, Blundstones, we think, I think we have the best selection of Blundstones in the whole area, um, Jeffrey Campbell, Seychelles, uh, Jambu, uh, and it, the list goes on from there, AS98s and Ms. Moose are two of everyone's favorites, and Fly London is probably one of our other favorites. Beautiful. And I know too with shoes, one of the things I like doing is getting a gift certificate at the holiday time. Because you don't always know what the person will like, but you can always do the gift certificate, have them come in, look around, and it's even more fun. Yeah, so. people are so happy with our gift certificates because you really can use it so many different ways. You can put it towards something bigger or get something smaller. We carry a huge range of prices so that there's always something for everybody and nobody's excluded and um, people love our gift certificates. Beautiful, and you truly are one of the jewels on, in the Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. is my favorite hangout on Elmwood. I'm here all the time, and one of my favorite parts of Ashker is not only the amazing food and drink, but the people, like Liberty, whom I love <laughs> so much. And Sarah, Angelo are the owners, and everybody that works here is just fabulous. Yeah. Um, we like to keep a really good team environment here. Um, like you said, Sarah and Angelo are the owners of Ashker's on Elmwood, and they're, um, they're amazing. So, yeah. yeah. They are. And we've had all kinds of events here at Ashker's, not 
I mean like in the back rooms? Yeah, so we actually have a community meeting room in which you can actually book out for free. Um, and we also just got a new creative director who's kind of transitioning our aesthetic here at Ashgrave's and just making it a really warm place for the community to come and hang out and yeah. And we've had parties here, events here, art openings. Yeah, we've had just about everything. We have an artist on our walls right now, so you can just email Ashgrave's at Buffalo if you're an artist. You can get your art up on the wall. So yeah. And you have a music school in the back? We do. We have a music school in the back. We have a piano. Um, our music directors, Ed and Bob, usually kind of yeah. take her class and whatnot here and there. So yeah. And then you have a little wellness center with... Dr. Mark, yes, yes Dr. a chiropractor. Mark. We He's love great. Dr. Mark. He's worked yeah. on me many times. He's amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you can call mm -hmm. and you can call Dr. Mark to get your back cracked. Um, right so here. You have to right here. here. <laughs> now the food. What I love about the food here yes. is so delicious. A lot of it is focused on natural, mm -hmm. and the juices are fresh pressed. Yeah, we do our juices fresh pressed basically every other day. Um, so our juice bath is right over there. We have all of our juices all days of the week, except for Sundays, because we're closed. Um, but we're trying to transition our menu into uh, like all plant-based. Most of our menu is plant-based, and our other locations um, are predominantly all plant-based. So we really just care about the food that we're giving out to the community. And it's so. so reasonably priced. I had a friend in from California. We ordered a full breakfast for both of us. It was under $20, and he said, Wait, I'm paying for both of us. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, I know. Yeah. And was like, oh my God. <laughs> so like I said, we, really, we love our community yeah. and we just want to make sure that everybody can come here and enjoy. And, and you can bring your computer down and work here and hang out. It's just a great place. Yeah. Now also, uh, you have all kinds of unique food products. I get golden milk here with the turmeric and stuff. There's butterfly milk tea, yeah. chia seed pudding. Yeah. I mean, there's... There's also it's a huge salads, variety. burgers, sandwiches, but there's right. a lot of unique foods here yeah, as well. It's, it's a huge variety. We like to spice it up every now and then and do something new for the holidays. or So yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wow, that was so fun. We hope you enjoyed your journey today through the Elmwood Village. Look for future shows in our Discover series where we come to a neighborhood near you. And again, remember, just like these businesses, WBBZ is locally owned, and by supporting local businesses and shopping for the holidays locally, you add more vibrance and fluency to your own neighborhood. Thanks again for joining us today. I'm Katherine Miller, and we'll see you soon here at WBBZ TV.